what's going on guys, Wingsven here and welcome back to another episode from the Brockrock server. Today guys we have some really nice plans for the episode 3 to be exact and hopefully we're gonna be able to do all 3 of them because in the last episode we managed to fail one of those. But today's to-do list is going to be to actually open the shop and start to get some of the profits so I'm really excited for that. The next thing on the to-do list is of course to make a nether world farm because I'm gonna be needing some nether world blocks to actually start a new project. But knowing nether world that project is probably gonna have to wait because it's just one of those things that takes absolute ages to actually get. And the third part is to actually prank sand because... I kind of feel bad not pranking Fizz in the last episode and I thought you guys needed to see at least one prank so that's exactly what we're gonna do. At least Sand doesn't have the ultimate defense against birds, the water of course, as uh, Fizz has so he should technically be an easy prey for us but I guess only time will tell and of course if you guys are still enjoying the Bro Croc and want to see more make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Even though our to-do list says shop netherworld prank, we're actually not gonna be starting with the shop. I'm gonna start with the most time-consuming one, which is of course netherworld. Because I need to actually find the fortress and get some netherworld and kind of start growing it to pretty much get enough to start uh, the actual farm. But as you can see, I am completely prepared for the nether. It would be really shame if you actually died over there and lose all of this amazing stuff. But if we die, I'm probably gonna have to do like another 2 or 3 hours just to get all of this stuff back. But hopefully that's not gonna happen and I'm gonna head in the nether and actually find the fortress. And once I find it, I'll bring you guys back. Peekaboo, 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 peekaboo. Guys, it's been absolutely ages because nether world is growing so slow, but we only started with two nether worlds and now we are all the way up to 12 and yes, this is taking absolutely ages. It's been like 10 Minecraft days and this is how much I got right now. It's growing pretty slow. So I think I'm just gonna leave it right now with this because I want to work on the shop and I want to open it right now but don't worry this is not going to be our netherworld farm. Of course I'm going to make this way bigger but I can't really do that with this amount of the netherworlds. So I'm gonna move on to another project and maybe even prank sand and in the meantime hopefully this is going to grow because I'm gonna be spending some time over here probably AFK or chopping down some trees. Because that's exactly what I have been doing, you can see this is the amount I managed to chop down and knowing me and Mad, this is probably not going to last us even 2 days or so, but it's been pretty easy to actually gather it, I'm using 2x2 uh, two two spruce trees and just a little pillar of uh, the scaffolding over here, so that way once uh, the tree actually grows over here we can pretty much go at the top and chop it from top down, and that actually doesn't take that much time, but you can see that the nether world was growing uh, really slowly and I kind of want to move on to another project. So we're gonna go ahead and head off to the shopping area and start transferring some of the scaffolding over here to the shop and hopefully open it today. Oh yeah guys, I should probably explain where I actually got that nether world from. I bought that from Fizz because our portal in the nether is actually really close to the fortress. When I got there it was completely empty, everything was raided and there were signs telling that Fizz and Pain actually claimed like blaze spawner I think and some other stuff. And they took every single piece of nether ward and didn't even bother to replant it for someone else to find it. And since I only know how to get to Fizz area from nether, he was the victim of ninja wings. Don't worry, I replanted the piece I took. 
We still have a little bit more work to do before we can actually open the shop. You can see that we need to extend these support beams kind of going outwards and this hole is going to stay because that's the part of uh, the actual decoration over here. But what we need to do is actually replace this mycelium because I want to have wood over here and for the start I thought that was weird because this is still a building in the building process. But then, I don't know if I actually show this on camera, but I put in the glass over here. You can see for the first story, the glass is fully completed. And for the one on top, it's not. You can see it's missing some bits over here. And that just uh, kind of looks really natural to me, since this is a work in progress building. So I thought that wood may be a little bit too much, but I think we're gonna go for it, since... Adding glass over here maybe means that the floor is actually getting close to being completed and we are just working on the top floor. So I'm gonna go for this spruce wood for the floor and probably mix some of the other stuff and as far as the interior goes I think I'm gonna keep it again as work in progress because just adding a whole done interior would be kind of weird with this whole building style. So let me see what I can come up with and I'll bring you guys back. Well, that went horribly wrong, there are blocks absolutely everywhere and what kind of design is this, they're just random blocks all over the floor and it seems like the magic didn't even have enough power to actually finish the whole floor but I guess this does kind of fit or building in a building process style but look how messy this looks, these are just random blocks everywhere let's just pile up over here in the corner and actually check what magic did together I have no clue how is this going to look so let's just go all the way up and take a better look over here what do you guys think? I think it kind of looks nice but of course, even if it look bad, we can't exactly argue with the magic, I think, because I can't really redo the magic since I'm not a wizard, I'm just a bird. A ninja bird. Also seems that the magic actually started doing the ceiling over here, and it looks like it just went for a simple spruce slab ceiling, and I think we're gonna continue that design all the way over here, because... Me and Ben don't actually know if we are actually gonna be using the second floor for anything. For now it's just for the decoration and there's still some little things that Magic actually didn't do like put in the support beams, all the chests with the scaffolding that we're gonna be selling and looks like I am actually gonna have to do some work myself even though it was really nice just relaxing and letting the Magic do all the work. We still need to add a couple more bits before we can open the shop. Ladies and gentlemen, we are standing in front of our scaffolding shop where hundreds and hundreds of people are waiting to get their hands on the most premium quality scaffolding in the world that ever existed. You can hear the people screaming and chanting, so I guess without further ado, let's open the doors to our shop. So people rush in, woohoo! Welcome to my humble shop, you can see that we don't have much of the things going on because this is of course the work in progress but if you guys have any suggestions or ideas that we could add over here definitely let me know in the comments but you can see we have some support pillars that are all different because why not of course and you can see we have some pallets over here with different types of the wood that we were actually using for the floor or should I say the magic use for the floor and on top of the pallets we have all of the chests with the scaffolding and of course since this is day one we need to offer a little discount so the original price was of course 10 stacks of diamond blocks per stack of scaffolding which I thought was a really fair price but since this is a day one we are going to offer 80% discount I know it sounds crazy but we're gonna be selling a stack of scaffolding for 2 stacks of diamond blocks I don't think you can get any more fares 2 stacks of diamond blocks would be a little bit too much so of course we are only gonna be selling it for 2 diamonds per stack of scaffolding and I think that's a pretty fair price and I can finally say that this shop is finally finished and open, ready for business and ready to make some profits for us. 
So it begins, we just arrived at Sand's place and you can see he has a really nice house over here Although a little bit flat on the roof but we are here to of course prank him But sadly there is a little issue in regards to actually pranking him And that's this message right here I kind of pinky promised I wouldn't poop on his base but I am bird of my word so I'm not going to poop on his face but of course I never said anything about the inside of his base so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing we're going to fill this whole room with the bird poop of course and it's all mine so he only gets the premium stuff you know but this is a large area and I'm going to fill every single block over here with the diorite of course the bird poop and of course I'm gonna help him clean this up because this is a nice amount of the space and it would definitely take him a little bit time to actually clean it up and I don't want to take that time away from him but before we get to that there is a little issue that we have to take care of first of all I just killed the skeleton but I noticed that these pens over here we have a pen with three cows a really nice pen over here but this one 12 chickens in one by one area over here like this is not acceptable you can see they're struggling to even stand together and even breed over here so i think there is only one thing that we can actually do in this situation come on chickens just spread your wings fly away and be free come on off you go you can see that some of them are brainwashed and they have no idea what freedom is so they don't even move but come on there we go chickens fly away and now guys it's time to actually fill this place to the brim with, with everyone's favorite bird poop well this took a while to do i was coming here thinking like 20 stacks of diorite would do the trick but oh man was i wrong I had to go mining like three times in the caves over here to actually fill this whole thing with diorite. You can see there is just diorite everywhere. Every single block in his house is filled except all the torches, the uh, chests and stuff that he had. And you can see all of the diorite is just peeking through the windows over here. And this took absolutely ages to do and I easily went over inventory of diorite. So I'm definitely gonna have to come back here and actually help him clean this because if he actually used like stone pick or something this can easily take like couple hours to clean because his house is absolutely massive and of course I don't want to take like an hour of his time just cleaning this up so as I said I'll come here with my efficiency 5 picks just helping clean this and also as you may see we kinda let those chickens spread their wings and fly away so kinda let them free I didn't really have anything to do with that they were just telling me they wanted to fly away so I just kinda helped the fellow birds you know you can see if you have a sign I did nothing they just spread their wings and flew away so I just kinda helped a little bit just nudge them in the right direction but over here we have a couple signs that say well I kept my promise as you can see I didn't poop on your house but I can't say the same for the inside you don't realize how big someone's house is until you have to fill with poop wings and as you can see I kept my promise I didn't poop on his house but as you saw we can't really say the same thing for the inside of his house so guys this took absolutely ages I hope he's going to like it but now it's time for us to actually get back home and do the final part of the episode which is of course to set up a netherworld farm while i was waiting and gathering the netherworld we're gonna use for our farm i did a tiny bit of organization you could say you can see that this is what our chest looked like previously and we still have like a couple more double chests that look like this and i tried my best to actually organize some stuff but i was really tired of looking the chest like this you can see there's just random stuff everywhere they don't really belong with each other so I did my best and actually organized these few chests over here you can see all of our wood is right here all of the different types of stone all of the stone products that are like uh, stone bricks and all the slabs and stuff like that over here we have one for the nether and also one for the mob drops and these are just kind of the mob drops that we're gonna use because 
we can pretty much use the uh, rotten flesh for like the trading we are obviously using the a lot of the bone meal for our farms the string for the scaffolding we are going to use gunpowder for essentially the rockets and stuff slime blows of course of course for uh, like the sticky pistons and stuff and the leather is just there because we have a nice amount of it and we can probably use it to make books for the trading and stuff and i've been just uh, doing uh, some random bits over here and while i was actually waiting for the netherworld to grow i decided to actually use my fortune tree pick because it's not like i don't have like five of them right now uh, because i probably made like nine fortune tree picks so far i'm pretty sure i gave three or two to mad and he managed to lose two i managed to lose one and i still have this one over here but also in this chest i have a couple more picks that i actually chatted off camera and i'm still doing that you can see this one over here is a really nice silk touch pick it has silk touch one and breaking three efficiency four over here we actually have fortune three efficiency four we have fortune three and breaking three yet another fortune three and breaking three and we also have on breaking three silk touch one pick right there and i also gave one to voided because he said in the discord he was struggling to actually get the fortune three pick and i was like i mean i have like six of them so i better like help him out and give him one and I'm pretty sure all the people didn't really believe me that I had that many because we are still kinda in the early game. But my luck has been absolutely amazing and you can see if I actually put another just normal pick over here. You can see that at 30 levels we have yet another fortune tree pick which I'm definitely gonna do as soon as I get uh, the levels for. And I've been uh, pretty much kinda... Uh, Meeting with some other people and helping them out, giving them some stuff that they didn't needed, and also some people gave me stuff that I needed. So you guys can check those clips while I'm waiting over here to get some more Nether Ward. guys a little bit of progress has been made you can see we have a nice little nether world farm over here which is just about over two stacks of the nether worlds and this is really simple farm we just have the water over here that once we press the button back there just flushes all of this over here into the uh, chest and i've been just uh, kind of collecting it right now with the fortune pig because I am gonna be spending a little bit of time over here and pretty much uh, waiting for this to kind of grow and get some more to actually expand the farm because I'm pretty sure at least I want 500 nether wart planted every time and we're not gonna go for this design this is just temporarily I'm definitely gonna have to get rid of this at some point and I'm not gonna go for this design because I'm gonna go big and this will just take a lot of the space Instead I'm gonna go for a simple, compact, stackable farm over here and 
it would be really nice but of course i need to get some more nether world for but yeah guys that said i think we're gonna end the episode over here we managed to do all the things we had on the to-do list so i'm pretty happy about that so of course if you guys enjoyed this episode and want to see more make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new i really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out